In today's video, we're going to disassemble the GSG-522. To begin, we're going to verify that the firearm is clear, which it is. And to start the process, we have to decock the firearm. To do that, pull the bolt back, insert your indicator flag into the chamber, drop the bolt forward, insert an empty magazine, turn the safety off, point the firearm in a safe direction and pull the trigger. From there, you can remove your empty magazine and pull the bolt open just enough to get the indicator flag out. And the only reason why we use the indicator flag is that it acts as a snap cap so that when you dry fire the firearm, you do not cause any damage to it. Next, we are going to remove two screws, one being the screw that secures the lower to the upper and the other screw that secures the stock. Now with the retaining pin removed, remove the stock by just pulling rearward on the stock. So if I hold the firearm upside down and look into the rear of the receiver, the next part that we are going to remove is what they call in the manual the breech fixing part, which is the silver block. And to do that, we first need to remove an Allen screw and a lock washer. Now the breech fixing part sits down inside a notch in the top of the receiver. So to get it out of there, there's a cutout that you can insert your Allen wrench into and lift upward. And it'll pull it out of the groove. And then just tip it over and tip out the breech fixing part. Now we're going to remove the lower assembly. And to do that, pull the lower assembly rearward and then upward. Holding the upper upside down, you can then push on the bolt assembly and remove it out of the rear of the receiver. And next what I'm going to do is I'm going to be very careful. I'm going to lay this upper assembly down. I'm going to show you something that you really need to be careful of. Here's the part that you have to be careful of. I'm looking down into the ejection port and when the bolt is removed, it exposes a spring that sits inside a groove in the side of the receiver. And if you remove your bolt and you're cleaning the firearm and you're rolling it one direction or another, it falls out. So when you're taking the gun apart, I really recommend, typically what I'll do is, is I'll just put my hand over the ejection port and roll it out. But this spring I can get the camera to focus. This spring is also magnetic. So if you have a magnetic screwdriver or just a small magnet, just dip it down inside the receiver and you can pull it right out. Now to finish things up, I'm going to show you how to remove the handguard. Now the handguard that I have is the one that you find on the SD model. And to remove it, you first have to take off the fake suppressor. Now, on this particular handguard, there's actually a front cap. And the easiest way to remove it is to just get a flat blade screwdriver and just nudge it forward a little bit. And it'll come right off. And then to remove the handguard itself, pull down on the front end of the handguard and then pull it forward. And that's it. Okay, so when you're done, you're going to have your upper assembly, your bolt, your lower assembly, the stock. In the case of the SD handguard, you'll have both the handguard and the cap, your fake suppressor, and you'll also have a retaining pin for the stock, a retaining pin for the frame, the small spring that we saw through the ejection port, the breech fixing part, and the Allen screw with lock washer and that's pretty much it 
I hope this helps you, and as always, be safe, and thanks for watching.